If we had just one week of nothing happening, I'd probably die of shock. Do, 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 do. Doop, 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 doop. Well, happy cocksucking New Year's, ladies and germs. The U.S. government has pulled off yet another holiday miracle at the zero hour to end the year of our Lord 2022 with some style and class. Bask in the glory known as the 2023 Omnibus Spending Bill, a 4,000-page spending package for 2023 that cost the American taxpayer $1.7 trillion. That's million, but with a T. And Joe Biden, adult diaper extraordinaire and massive pedophile is sitting on pins and needles to sign this baby into law and get America on the right track to have an economy on par with economic powerhouses such as Venezuela, Zimbabwe, and who knows, maybe even Sri Lanka. Being introduced in the dead of night, our representatives were given roughly 24 hours to read this 4,000 page bill and get it passed in order to prevent a government shutdown, which according to this human fucking turtle is how you're supposed to ethically and responsibly run a government. So naturally, our representatives came out and droves to approve this bill and are giving us, the American taxpayer, the privilege of paying the tab with our own tax dollars. And with inflation at an all-time high and the world economy on the verge of collapse, we can all sleep comfortably knowing that $1.7 trillion worth of stuff this bill covers is absolutely necessary to the prosperity of our nation. Let's just take a look at some of the highlights. Enhanced Border Security! For countries nowhere near the U.S. America's borders are 100% secure, which is the Democrats doing. But in the specific event that the border is hemorrhaging tens of thousands of illegals who are bringing in human traffickers, drugs, and God only knows what else, it's clearly the fault of white supremacist Republicans and their stupid, toxic, anti-transphobic racisms. So naturally, we hold a responsibility to provide $410 million to help with the border security of Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt, Tunisia, Oman and Yemen. And this is some exciting stuff because it's finally gonna do something about the crippling fentanyl problem that's plaguing the streets of San Francisco. Saving the whales by not breeding. This $575 million subsection will provide bribes to women to not have babies in areas where endangered species may be affected by their selfish biological drive to want to mother children. And considering that women don't exist anymore, that's a fucking steal. This way we can utilize the science to help us aboard our way out of endangering species like the Kentucky Trash Panda. Modernizing foreign education. May God help us all. It's lucky number 777 and a half million dollars to be set aside for foreign education programs in other countries. We can't let those kids in Illinois have all the fun with butt plugs and dildos. We gotta help the children in Ecuador learn about drag shows and the merits of spit versus lube. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're all going to hell, aren't we? Can't forget about the Ukraine because of of course we can't. So you remember all of that money and firepower we've been sending to the Ukraine? Well, me neither. Which is why Vladimir Zelensky took a break from pegging himself with Sean Penn's Oscar to give an impassioned speech to Congress. And I was able to get a direct translation into what he was saying to our elected officials. Ah! <laughs> yeah! You know how I love money. and the U.S. government was happy to oblige with a cashier's check for $45 billion. Where's all that money going, by the way? I know. We love cheese. No, seriously. Where's that money going? I don't know. Playing the hand close to the chest, huh? <laughs> I get it, but I still want an explanation as to where my money's going. I don't know! Oh, okay. That doesn't make sense. And with keeping in congressional tradition, it just wouldn't be a spending bill without some pointless ego masturbation. After doing nothing but bitching and moaning for virtually six years, Michelle Obama is finally getting a park trail named after her for the cool price of 3.5 million smackaroos. I hear the trail the Donner Party took is up for grabs. She should snag that one. I hear it's kinda nice this time of year. Alabama Congressman Richard Selby, who helped to get the Republicans the vote on this necessary monstrosity, is getting an FBI building named after him. Because nothing says small government and conservative spending quite like an all-powerful law enforcement agency that's been weaponized against its own citizens, am I right? Oh! 
And to save the best for last, on a lonely street corner on 7th Street of San Francisco, California, a federal building is going to be renamed after our stunning and brave Speaker of the House when it is renamed the Federal Building of the Abominable Cunt. And as our questionably elected overlords usher us into a new year of hunger, destitution, and suffering that'll be known as 2023, it fills me with the warm and fuzzies to know that the obscene amounts of money we're spending are for super important things like questionably large funding increases for the ATF for unconstitutional gun control, be friendly highways as opposed to be unfriendly highways, and naturally an all-black wax museum in one of the most violent cities in America. Kinda reminds me of something George Washington said when he was crossing the Delaware during that war against the British over a small tax increase on tea. When this year war's over, all y'all gonna be build me a statue. I'm buying, but all y'all cocksuckers gonna be paying on no me. Happy fucking New Year, everybody. 2023 is looking to be just fucking wonderful. What is up, Mahones? Arston the Unclean here to say thank you one last time in 2022 for checking out the new video. If you think being taxed $1.7 trillion is a tad bit overkill and probably not going to end well for anybody, then you are suffering from a disease known as common sense and I want to personally be the first to welcome you to the quarantine zone. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you're feeling a little infectious if you know what I mean. Let's end 2022 with a bang by getting into some deep conversations over in the comment section. Today's subject is throw pillows. I don't know about you, but this has been one of the longest, shortest years of my life. But I would like to personally extend my heartfelt thanks to all of you for sticking around and allowing me the opportunity to fill your ears with my nonsense rants. It's been a ball and got me through some hard times, and I have you to thank for that. And if 2023 is looking to be as half of the mess as I think it's gonna be, then I'll have no shortage of material. And I look forward to sharing that mess with all of you in the next year. And for the last time in 2022, thank you for caring and I'll see you in the gulag.